sun, ladies and gentlemen. The light is so beautiful right now. All right, so today on Hoopty Doodle's Goldwing Bobber Build series, we are doing a hack. A hack brought to us by a subscriber to this channel. We have subscribers to this channel. This is a great subscriber because he recommended this hack to us. It is from another YouTube channel called Motor Riendes de Palatiers, which I'm sure I just screwed up the pronunciation of that and I apologize. It is the Kia idler bearing hack. That's what I'm calling it. And it's a great hack for owners of these old gold wings. So the idler bearings that keep tension on the timing belts, they wear out. Idler bearings wear out over time. But the problem is now, almost 40 years later, you can't buy the original idler bearings anymore. They don't make them. So some ingenious soul came up with the hack, which is what we're gonna do today. So thank you, Motor Vrindes de Palatiers. So here's the ones I ordered. Let's see what we got here. And no, there is no explanation for why I have one glove and one glove only. Let's see how it looks compared to the stock bearing. Appears to be the same size as the original, so that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and get these old ones off of here so we can use the mounting bracket. All right, so now we're over here on the drill press. I'm gonna turn, this, turn the bearing upside down. We wanna get this bracket free from the bearing and we basically want to drill out this center part here. And to do that, I'm going to use a 13 30 seconds drill bit. Now our next step is to cut this wheel off. And see what I'm trying to do here is cut through the bearing part and not touch the backing plate at all. So I'm just cutting the wheel through here. There's like two little pieces here. These are separate to begin with. And I cut out this side and then it just pops right off. And then I'm cutting through the, the part that's down inside there where the bearings are. I cut through this part here and now this backing plate should come right off. And now we've just got this guy here and we've just got to grind this flat. So here's our finished product, nice and flat. And now I can go ahead and clean this up and paint it. So on these idler bearings, I've gone ahead and painted up the brackets. Nice black color. I used a high temp engine paint on that. And then our next step is to take our little, attach it to there. And you can see the pulley itself, it is, it does have space off the bracket. So you don't need to put any spacer on there. The pulley itself has a little bit of space there. So it's very simply, we take our bolts. I've got some 10 millimeter bolts here. We put the bolt through the bracket, put it on our little pulley, and put our nut on there. And I happen to have, this is a nylon locking nut on here. If you don't have a nylon locking nut, you're going to want to use Loctite or something like that in order to keep these uh, nuts from coming off. And then I've just clamped down the bolt head here in the bench vise, and then we'll go ahead and tighten this guy down. And now we've got our new idler bearing, complete with painted bracket. Yeah, then you go, just go ahead and install this guy. Make sure to remember your little spring here. 